An alarming new study from the CDC shows thousands of women are not receiving life-saving mammograms. Researchers found women with health-related social needs were 20% less likely to get recommended mammograms. That includes experiencing food insecurity or not being able to pay for health care. Researchers say addressing those issues through community and public health services will help save the lives of women through early breast cancer detection. News 5's Remy Murray explains one organization is working to do just that. There's a greater sense of urgency from the KYAL Cancer Fund to educate the community about breast cancer screenings after a new CDC study finds thousands of women are missing their recommended mammograms. We're really hoping to activate the next generation in the fight against cancer. At Shaw High School Tuesday afternoon, Jenny Palmatier says their group is focused on one thing, and that's saving lives. We're not going to stop until cancer is eradicated. There are a lot of ways to do that, and empowering this next generation is a critical piece of that. The K. Yao Cancer Fund began nearly 16 years ago by the late Sandra K. Yao, who served as head coach of the North Carolina State University women's basketball team and is a member of the Naismith Hall of Fame with more than 700 career wins. Coach Yao also fought breast cancer for 22 years until her death in January 2009. Now Palmer Tier says they work with survivors to keep Yao's legacy going. We partner with each other to educate and empower people in this community because um, East Cleveland is one of the most underserved communities. During Tuesday's K. Yao Cancer Fund's empowerment tour, Tanisha Matthews joined other survivors like Denise West, a Shaw High School teacher who's been in remission for five years. It's near and dear, so I'm real passionate about um, sending a message to how important it is for screening um, and uh, mammograms, early detection. Students like Hunter Graham tell me it's important for him to spread this message too after he watched his mom fight breast cancer and survive. I want everybody to, uh, especially like black women in our community, I want them to know that like they can have help and like it's okay, you feel me? Like it's okay to have this and it's okay to beat it. Like just stay 100% uh, positive. And the KYAL Cancer Fund gave a $150,000 grant to the Cleveland Clinic Cancer Institute to provide even more access to cancer care for under-resourced people. For News 5, I'm Remy Murray reporting.